Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. So in the previous episode we got most of this cell block done. As you can see there's only really the flooring to put in. We do have various size rooms which we need to grade up. So add things like TVs, tables, chairs, things like that. But that can be done at a later date. The object for this episode mainly is to get the plumbing all in, get some metal detectors in, get the laundry and cleaning cupboard and all things just sorted and done as well as the kitchen and canteen ready for prisoners. So let's just crack straight on with that. So we're going to go over to utilities and then to the pipe and what we'll do is we're just going to run a pipe uh, probably just straight across and then up um, maybe in the center or does it really matter I don't think it really matters actually so we'll run it down to there then these ones here we can either go straight across or we could do we could do that and then that would technically be a little bit more efficient although I'm not entirely sure whether or not it'll reach the destination we might have to do that just to make sure and there we go so that should be all sorted while we're in here we're also going to run the electrical cable from this area straight across and then up and the reason for that is we'll have some um, we'll have some laundry machines on this corner which will require power obviously will also require water as well so hopefully these will be able to reach if not what I'll do is I'll run probably a another water pipe down here and then connect it up that away so obviously we've got loads of buildings here that we haven't done but I think the priority is just to get uh, all of the cell block areas done and all of the main areas for prisoner housing we've got a couple of grants on the go we've got governmental security ratings we've got reform through education initiative and then the cell block B which is 68% completed. I'm going to just go to the materials here over the concrete tiles and I want to run some concrete tiles along and around and just get all of the major walkways done for this area. And there's that and there's that and then same on this side as well. Now while the work people are cracking on I'm just going to max speed it out and go around and check something. So we've currently got a couple of benches and tables in here or rather we've got a couple of benches and one singular, singular unit of table. And we need to get rid of those and we need to put in the, uh, the rest of it. So originally the design was going to be this here. Now I'm not really, I'm not feeling that, I'm not thinking that's any good. So what I'm going to try and do instead is have something like that which is going to be um, two two in a row two in a row and then with a gap of maybe two in between that should work out so that should be an eight by three which it is and so should that and then what we'll do is we'll sort of copy it down like so and we'll sort of skip ahead on this part so we've got at least a big walkway in the center probably not on the other side I don't think we need I don't think we need it on both sides so we can probably we could probably just put something there if we need to, but maybe just a, a row of um, a row of phones is probably the way to do it. Now, people have commented about the size of this thing. Obviously, it's oversized for the prisoners we're going to get, and that is correct. However, it's only sort of correct if we go with the original idea of having these as individual cell blocks. But what a couple of people have suggested is that we split one of them in half and have two dormitories, and I do actually like that idea, so I think we'll go with that. And we'll have a... This will be our standard risk. Then we'll probably have a low risk here, where we've got them, like I say, split down the middle. Let me just do the measurements on that one. Internal is 33 three so we can actually have a um we have a 16 16 with the wall in the middle is that does that work out correctly is that the maths correct 16 and then uh 16 uh it does yeah good okay and then we'll have a entrance in there an entrance in there and that should also be seven and seven yep yeah, there we go seven and seven and this can be our dormitory I'm not saying that we are going to have a dormitory here I'm just saying that it's possible and if we were going to have something like that then maybe something along the along those lines would be what we go for but as I said that's just a, a temporary thing okay so there's all that sorted right so we should have this canteen to sort so we'll just go over to our objects and then we'll dismantle those objects there just to shift them off and then build elsewhere we need to do the laundry we need to do uh, metal detectors before I forget though we'll go over to ut utilities here and then we'll get the capacitors put in so all the way around and make sure that's all connected we've currently got 35,040 generic units of currency so more than enough to uh, finish off what we need I believe let's go to objects and to the bench and what I'm going to do is put uh, a bench there and there and then there and then there obviously a couple of those we don't even have to buy because we had them in stock and I'm just gonna wait for that to complete because I want to clone that and we will actually the question is can you clone a plan uh, or something at least is pending it's not a plan it is pending building I would probably find out if I'd uh, done it fast enough but I hadn't so I haven't 
and uh, there's the end of that chat. So we'll just go further down, place all of these. Obviously, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but quite frankly, we've got enough to get this, and it's only 320 per clone, so it's no issue, really. We haven't got any phone taps, nor even security at all, and that's something we probably have to build at some point. At the moment, we can probably handle it. The type of prisoners we're going to get when we first get arrivals will probably be normal risk because I generally like that idea. It generally sits quite well. So we want a metal detector. Actually, that's not correct. We want several metal detectors. In fact, we'll probably be spending um, 10 grand on metal detectors. More. Even more. We'll spend a lot more on the metal detectors. Okay, we're going to have to be careful here then. So where is the best place for a metal detector? Well, I always think at the front door you need one because that's the only way in or out, and then also you want them around the can because they always have to go through the canteen to eat. Um, we can't let, well, they're not allowed through the kitchen, so they're not going to go through there. However, it's still good to have a metal detector around the kitchen because if stuff gets brought in, like sneaks in with its sneakers on, then you know that uh, you can catch it because it often, it often comes with the deliveries. But to be fair, this should catch it as well. But anyway, we'll just go over to the kitchen here, and we'll go to the cooker, and we'll place one, two, three, four, and we can't place another one. That is a crying shame. And then we'll fridge it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll probably have another row on the other side, but that'll do for now. That'll be more than enough for, that'll be more than enough for our needs, I believe. We will, will, however, need to connect these up to the uh, to the grid, but we'll just see how we get on. We haven't got any flooring put in around here, but that's something we're going to do later on. Um, that's all connected up there. That is fine. Let's go to electrical cable, and we'll run electrical cable down and across, and then across, and then we'll connect that up there, and then there. That should be all of those connected. There we are. And we can probably go ahead... And we just add some more sinks because, quite frankly, we have the capabilities. There we are. Bit of a strange size, this room. It's all—it's just one size off in, in so many directions, which is a shame. We also need to... Oh, no, we don't need to connect that up because it's run straight down and across. That's good. That's good. I was going to put another door there, but I'm, I think I'm going to pass on that one. I don't think I'm going to bother. I would like some doors on the outside, but I don't know if it's going to happen just yet. Obviously, if we do that, we'll have to run a fence across and then all the way down and then up there, and then we'll have a road gate and... Do I do that now? I mean, wouldn't be a terrible idea having that. It's only a fence, so it can be, people can climb over that. The problem with doing this is we're going to have to station a, why is that guy peed off? Bowels, bladder, food. Well, there's all that that can be fulfilled, so I don't know why. Um, yeah, this can be climbed over so I don't know if we'll have a problem with that one. Obviously the deliveries and such we haven't yet altered the size of it. I just went boom and placed them but quite frankly they're all working so I'll care later. This is a bit of a rough and ready one. Yeah the road gates though I'm gonna have to place them in these far ends and then I'll have to assign people right next to it. Not that that's a big issue you understand but still still it is what it is. Okay so we're gonna go over to the deployment and then to staff only and just make sure that certain rooms are set as staff only so uh, psychology staff or infirmary is not set as staff only which is good because we don't want that. We have that as access only yes a reception as access only as well and same as that so you only go in here if you absolutely have to so we can't have prisoners standing in there for no reason. That's fine. Let's just go over to Objects and Road. Um, road Gate, and it's going to cost, how much is it, a grand each? Okay, it's actually starting to get a little bit dicey here when it comes to the money. But there's two Road Gates on that one. We're going to go to Guard Deployments, and we'll set a Guard Deployment um, probably around here. Well, but I'll wait until the Road Gate is uh, put in. There we are, and we'll set up a Guard Deployment across the Road like, road Gate like that. Same on the other side. There you go. So they'll uh, go back and forwards. That's fine. So we need to sort the laundry out, and then quite frankly, that's almost everything that we need. And is that true? Showers done. That's in there. Visitation, we can add more to. Kitchen canteen is sorted. We haven't got our... Re re we haven't got the regime yet, though. Okay, fine. Laundry first, one thing at a time. So we need laundry machines. We'll go for one, two, three. We'll go for tables on the other side, and uh, we'll just have a row of tables, perhaps. No, maybe not, because we are 
running out. Um, I think that. No. Does it really matter? Not really. I think I'll scoot with that side and then we can have the rows of laundry baskets like that, you see. And the ironing boards can go across. Um, that's a question. Can they be placed like that? I don't know because I don't know where they have to stand. Yeah, it's just one, just one direction. It's just one size too large. Uh, there's three lot of three laundry machines and all of these in here. That should be all right. Although, what I'll do is I'll shift it along because then we can have another laundry machine in there at some point if we need it. Don't think we will though. Don't think we'll. Not there uh, anytime soon anyway. Okay, so. Governmental security ratings, assigned two dog handlers and two armed guards. So let's just uh, go over to rooms and type in kennel. Okay. Then security. Then armory. So the armory, solitary door, solitary door, and then a double door. That's fine. And I'm going to get all the basic stuff just to get that done, because then we'll get 15 grand. I don't think we're going to have armed guards wandering around right at the beginning. It doesn't seem to be right, really. Um, there we go. There's all that set of stuff only. And outside there is stuff only as well, so that should be good. That's all changing room sizes, as you can see, just as we get the doors put in. But that's all done now. That's fine. That's fine. And that's all fine. Right, okay. So we need to run some water pipes into here. And... Hmm. I'll do that in the... In the hope that it'll connect up. Actually. That is better. But we'll see if that works. It'll probably be a little bit off. Okay, so we'll finish the kennel and the armory. So kennel. Dog crates here. There's that done. Armory. Slightly different. Weapon rack has to go there. Actually, it doesn't have to go there, but it has to go somewhere. I'll probably have another one on the other side, just for looks, eventually. And then your guard lockers, which we'll put probably all the way around. Or do you want them as a, like, a row there and then row on the other side? That would look good. How many is there? Two armed guards, so we'll just get the two. Like I said, this is only for getting the grant done. That's all it's there for. So, staff, armed guard. One, two... Ooh, can't hire any more, not yet. Two, dog handler... One, two, and we don't have funds. Darn it. Uh, but it's two for each one, though, so that's fine. So, <laughs> that was a bit naughty. One, two, and one, two. Grant done. Cancel those, cancel those, cancel those. Um, do I want to get rid of the armed guards? Yes, I sort of do. I don't plan on having arm guards from the get-go, so... Okay, they're over I think they're overworking those dogs. <laughs> um... Yeah, I know, the I know the sniffer dogs. I don't know what they've been sniffing. <laughs> okay, um... What I might do is remove that patrol because it's a little bit iffy. Right, there we are. So that's sound. Right, what I'll do... I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a patrol in here, like so. Um, I don't up and down, maybe like that. There's your there's your dog patrol around there, and ideally you want dog patrol on the way in as well. Not really patrol, actually. I don't really want it as a patrol. I probably just want it as a. Oh, doesn't matter. I can't assign it. You have to assign them to a patrol. So we'll do just that. Um, just so they don't. There's not a problem there. We'll put both of these little so wander around like that. There you go. And that's the best we're going to get. Right, so we're going to go over to our grants here. And you can see we've got MaxSec Infrastructure with Prison Manufacturing. I'm going to get Prison... I'm going to Prison Manufacturing Facility. Because this is something we wanted from the get-go. So what I'm going to do, go to Reports, over to Regime. Let's sort this Regime out. So as always, we're going to have sleep time up until about 5. Um, wake up at 6, we'll have a straight shower, 
There you go. Two hours of free time. And then we'll have eat as one, two. And then we'll have work free time, one, two, three, four. Then we'll have one, two, three, four. And then two hours of eat. And then in the center there, we've got some lockup. That is my, no, that's sort of my go-to regime. I think I've altered it slightly. Uh, normally we have, I think, eat time there and work free time like that. I think it's something like that. Yeah, so yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. So work slash free time is if you've got a job, you go to it. If not, it's free time for you. However, you can intersperse that with work slash lockup, which is a thing I can't really... I can't remember if I actually tried doing that or not. So we've got lots of policy changes to implement here. I'm going to change all of these to lockdown because we don't have any solitary confinement and you get into that cycle where you are trying to... You, you go for a punishment and say, right, you, you need to be in a solitary cell. But you can't put them in a solitary cell because there isn't any. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's probably where this area will come into play. So this is going to have a wall all the way around like so. And we're going to have a couple of things in here. So this is going to probably have an entranceway around here. I'm going to split that up like so. This is going to be um, probably probably a fairly big common room or something like that. Then around here, we're going to have solitary. This is just, you know, a bit of a test. There's your solitary, something like that, yeah? And then we might even have it split down there. And then, even, and then some more. That would make sense because... Then we're getting a decent amount. I think that's all right. Apart from we want a bit more. Like that. Yeah. If we want any more, we can also do the same again. But then you are really splitting it down. And what I wanted to do is have that as solitary. Then we'll have another area here where this will be security. And then off this side, we're going to have a couple of cells where this will be your protective custody type thing, but which we haven't got at the moment, sadly. So I think that is about right. So we need to go over to staff and we want to hire um, one, two, three, four, five more cooks. There we go. We've got the dog handlers, but I will hire another one, uh, probably two more actually. Uh, because I want to have a guard patrol, or a dog patrol rather, around here. This is where we can have um, people jumping over the wall and trying to escape. However, that is a fairly large wall, so I don't know whether we want... I don't know whether we want to split that up and have one there, and then about halfway, I do stress about, we sort of cut that up, and we put another one on there as well, just to patrol the two. So it's about halfway. I don't think it's anywhere near halfway, that one. I could easily measure it halfway, but um, that is about halfway. So we'll go... There we go. And then put them in there. There you are. Um, would be nice to have one around here as well, on the pathway, but I don't think we can really afford that. Right, so that's all that done. That's done there. Laundry's in there, which is... If we just check. Has got people assigned. Same as the cleaning cupboard. If we go over to the deployment and staff only. None of those are set to staff only. That's fine. This outside bit is staff only. Infirmary and the psychologist office is access only. Morgue is staff only. Reception staff only. All of this bit up top is staff only, which is fine. Same as the forestry area, which we might allow prisoners to work in there eventually. Um, no, I think that's about it. I don't think there's much more to really add or change. Although, one thing I do want to do, want to go and in the yard here, I want to place the grass and we want to get some weight benches in. Oh, it goes right in the centre anywhere, that's fine. Gonna spend a bit of money on this one, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Because they always talk about exercise. And there we go. That is all of that done. Metal detectors are in, all connected up. Patrols are about. Probably want to have another couple of patrols, maybe. Uh, guard patrols um, up and down here. So dogs in the centre and then your guard patrols on the uh, right hand side there. In terms of serving tables, we probably have enough. I think so, I think so. Right, I think we will leave it there and we'll get some prisoners next episode. Oh, probably want to add some more in visitation. There you are.
done. So I think we'll leave it there. Next episode, we will get some prisoners. I think that's the call. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed, but I really can't think of it. Um, no, that's about right. I think we're about right. Might have to get a couple more guards, but mm, we're about there. We're about there. Right, we're going to call it on the call it there. Knock it on the head. And next episode, prisoners. I was going to ask what sort of prisoners uh, do you think we should get, but quite frankly, I think it's going to be normal risk, and we will fill this up. We're just going to fill it. Just say fill the capacity thirty four. Get that done, and then uh, see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic. Partings.